Hey Virgo or Chinese year rooster, mutable beautiful earth. Welcome to the Vibe Tribe Family Community. It's your high priestess Maggie and I hope you guys are having a beautiful Monday. I hope you guys are Saturday and Sunday was fantastic as well. Either way, we're going to tap in to see what spirit wants you to know about, wants to direct you towards focusing on, wants you to maybe be reassured with or bring you some type of clarity. Whatever it is spirit wants you to know, we're going to find out today. So just take it as it resonates for you, of course. But thank you guys again for all the support you've given to me because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do this. And it really makes me feel good when I get to do this because I love benefiting everybody. So the more I come, the more individuals we get to benefit as a collective. So that's really amazing. When we get to 950 subscribers, I will give away another free giveaway reading. If you guys want to participate, just let me know your names in the comments below and I'll add you into the name jar. But either way... When we get to a thousand subscribers, it's going to change. I'm going to do two free giveaway readings per month, one in the beginning and one in the end, so that everybody gets a chance to win something. So that's just all I am about. I want others to always have that chance to feel good about winning something. In a sense, I don't win very many things. I don't really put my my anything out there. I have in the past, but it never really works. So I always try to do something for others that I didn't get the chance to always have. So therefore, that's why I'm doing those specifically and it also just is a sense to really benefit those that god really chooses but either way virgo let's find out what this energy is going to be pointing out i'm gonna actually do some messages first that's what's that's like pulling me in i keep looking over there so let's do a few messages i'll get a few let's do four let's do four because that that makes sense four. we have four different slots over here so let's do four for Virgo. Thank you, Spirit Universe God, so much for showing up today. And Virgo Spirit Team 2 and Spirit Animal, nonetheless. Ancestors and deceased loved ones as well. Genuine qualities, generosity, honesty, confidence, compassion, forgiveness, integrity, kindness, offering compliments, and lifelong learners. Y'all, Virgos have genuine qualities about you, okay? This is just something that you guys needed to be reminded of. How honest you are, how confident you are, how forgiving you are, how much you hold integrity, how much you offer compliments to other individuals just to see them smile. Maybe you just even see a spark in their eye, like that sparkle, right? You're just really very generous individual. You're a lifelong learner. You're always constantly open-minded to learn new things, especially things that you're already interested in. If you find out any, any knowledge about things, that you already have a sense of knowledge about that helps you so much and you just really appreciate that even more you may be praying in a sense of like thank you god for giving me the information i was really hoping for and you know like you are very much so holding gratitude for every single thing in your life as you have poppy flower which is the constellation remembrance and death symbolizing everything from peace to death and even sleep the poppy flower okay somebody's favorite flower whatever it may be just in a sense, it could just be telling you that, you know, this is a remembrance flower. In the sense, it could also be about constellations, maybe peace, maybe sleeping, maybe you need more sleep. Um, but the I'm very disappointed message is from you to someone. Okay, you're disappointed in someone because maybe they've been demanding and, demanding and forceful. You got to be careful that you don't let this person put you in bad position. So... Yeah, you may be just been really disappointed because, look, you're you're a kind individual. It's really hard to make maybe even make you mad, you know what I mean? Maybe it's really hard to disappoint you as a person, but you're disappointed. You are. Spirit wants you to really focus on this right now because it's like, what are you disappointed about? We obviously will find out, but you're over someone's demandingness, somebody who is forceful. Somebody who puts themselves in bad positions. So they, you know, that's why the Spirit's telling you to be cautious don't allow this person to put you in any bad situations because this person can be very reckless, foolish, naive, that kind of thing, okay? And it, it may be the fact that you're disappointed in, is because you know that this person has more potential than that. I just saw 420, which, you know, y'all know, you know. But let's see what we have here for this energy. Actually, let's get a um, Osho Zen first for energy-wise. Suppression. That's definitely for that person, okay? And sorrow. Yep, definitely for that same individual. It could be October 9, babies. You could be a September 10, baby. This person could also be another Virgo. Let's see what this genuine qualities, poppy flower, the symbol, integration. You're integrating all the qualities. 
into yourself and this is something that's always been a beauty beautiful part of you your aura is maybe so magnetic that it's a rainbow aura it changes colors with whoever it is you're around okay and number 14 you guys can be born on the 14th day of the month you guys could be born on the 10th or the 9th day of the month too something about september october or even maybe october 14th september 14th maybe something about Two more scheduled energies for now, which will be 14 days. I don't like to say the week anymore. It's the week word of the weekend anymore. I don't like saying them. It's, um, it's pretty much our our speech manifests anything, especially even songs. So even when I'm listening to a song and I really like it, I tell God in my head, I'm not manifesting this. I'm just singing it. So don't worry about it. I'm not like trying to manifest this or put this into my life because that's not what I'm doing. I'm just wanting to man. And if I want to manifest something within the lyrics, I switch the lyrics in my mind. Okay, either way, this individual over here is just very, supp they're suppressing a lot of sadness, okay? Whatever is going on, I don't know. It could be something about the 10th house and 9th house as well, which would be Jupiter and Capricorn, okay? They could be born on the 9th day or the 10th day or the 14th day too as well, whoever this is. With the Queen of Swords being on the bottom in the reversal, it's obviously repressed emotions, right? So repressed sadness. Okay, let's see what we want to understand here at the situation. We've got the three of wands. That's beautiful. I know that 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 really goes with the integration right there. Okay. So this is on this part of your genuine genuine qualities. Then you had the Prince of Swords is in the reversal. Taurus and Gemini and Aries are the ones that came through. Chinese, your dragon, snake, and horse. Six of Swords is in the reversal. See? Somebody's rocking the boat, causing trouble. You guys got to be careful around water, flooding. Uh, accidents in water. That's what the Six of Swords means in the reverse. Now, with the Prince of Swords in the reverse, there's missed opportunities and chances. Somebody's very impatient. Somebody's very impatient. So, they could be missing out on actually, like, beneficial opportunities and chances. Those are so impatient that they swoop up any chance they get to do anything. Okay? With the Three of Wands, though, I really want to focus on this part. And I know for a fact... You're expanding your horizon like we were talking about. Whatever you're manifesting is on its horizon. Like, it's on the horizon. You're looking at it. It's coming. Okay? Because you've done everything to be maybe a remembrance in other people's memories. Like, they remember you. You remember them. Maybe you just have that genuine quality of just really being so compassionate towards everybody that you've ever met in your life. That you just think about them. They all have a place in your heart. You know, room in your heart. Whatever. And then maybe it's even keeping them at a distance. You still have love for them. You like you don't need to have them in your life, but you still really care. Okay, you just have a really deeply feeling care about you. That this is why you're getting rewarded. This is why you're moving forward. This is maybe a sense that you could be moving, uh, maybe across the sea, uh, abroad. It maybe even just moving in general. Like you just really want to see yourself in a new environment, something that's more fiery and motivational and maybe even full of abundance right but either way three of wands is a beautiful card of magnetism okay with this energy though there's a lot of arrogance i don't know you know you would know what i mean by that because everybody really kind of says specific words on their own and maybe it's not arrogance for some of you, it's ignorance for some of you, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just says their own little words, everybody's got their own little vocabulary they got going on, but that's the feeling I'm getting with this individual, and you you yourself perceive this person as being arrogant. Now, you actually, were if, you, if this person was doing good, you would see them in this, you know what I mean? You would see them in the upright, that's what I'm getting here. Intuitively, that's what I'm picking up, because this person does have a lot of ambition, they're very determined, they can be very focused. You know, there's a lot of things that this person can potentially do in just a matter of one day, but they're not really doing that, okay? And with the Six of Swords in the reverse, if it was an upright, it would be transitioning, it would be, you know, getting away from the storm, getting away from bad positions, that kind of thing, right? This is just something that this person hasn't been doing, and they could be dragged down because of it, but they're suppressing a lot of sadness. They're sad. They're sad about maybe something about childhood. Maybe they were raised something, and they maybe they even just came across somebody else in their life, and they witnessed, like, this person gets so many good things from maybe their parents or maybe their grandparents or whatever it may be, you know, maybe friends, whatever, but they don't get that. They're not getting that kind of energy. Maybe they don't feel like they're good enough for that kind of energy. They feel like, you know, they're doubting themselves in some way. And so they just kind of do what they know to do to fit in, okay? They're not doing the right thing, but they are trying to do something. And they're just super sad and don't know who to talk to about it. So let's see what else wants to come through here. 
what else we got mm -hmm. okay queen of pentacles in the reverse the fool in the reversal capricorn again with the energy of number 10 remember we had 10th house capricorn's energy well sagittarius is here too so these two energies in one card queen of pentacles this could be a female that you're worried about okay this could even be a masculine but this is even if it's a female it's it they're definitely feeling insecure they're feeling ungrounded they're feeling emotionally imbalanced they're feeling physically like they're not good enough basically they feel like they're ugly they're, they feel like their body isn't good enough. They feel like they're fat or they feel like, you know, all the projections, all the opinions and all the conditions from other people have really scarred this individual. Okay. They just, maybe they, they feel like, and I'm not trying to be in the race thing, but if they are, you know, a specific ethnicity, they feel like they're the wrong color. Like it's wrong. And it's really hurtful. And the, the fact that the world is really with that it's so frustrating because these people really they feel something because of it you know and it hurts and it sucks and it gives me the chills because it makes me actually want to cry a little bit for this person and, and the fact that they are just there's so much that could be like giving we could give love to this individual if they'd allow us to or if they'd open up and become vulnerable if they'd open up to even speaking about the things that have hurt them I feel like you'd be one of the ones who want to listen, Virgo. You'd be like, well, I want to hear you. I want to hear what you have to say. Let me hear you out. Let me, let me, let me give you my ear. Lend you my ear so that you can talk it all the way off. You know what I mean? Because the fool in the reverse means that they have been reckless. We were talking about that. Reckless energy, right? Demanding forceful person. They are demanding themselves in the sense they want. They want what they want. It's their way or the highway. And they're demanding it. They're demanding their own life to be the way that they want. They're forcing themselves to fit in something that they don't really belong in. Right? So even though they're demanding the forceful maybe to other individuals, they're doing it to themselves. It is a reflection of themselves. Okay? They feel forced into something because they have to force themselves to fit in. They can't even just be themselves. Because they're too... They don't want to be judged for wanting to sit there and cry. They don't want to be judged for sitting there and talking about things that you know, actually bring them an emotional sense or a feeling. They don't want to be made fun of. They don't want to be, they don't want to feel regretful that they told the wrong person. And then it all of a sudden travels out there and the grapevine is just expanding further and further because that's happened before, you know, Aquarius's energy is very heavy. So Aquarius and Aquarius, both of these, you have, um, Gemini, Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius. Capricorn and, um, I mean, Gemini and Sagittarius are opposite signs. This person's definitely having a lot of challenges in their life. They're constantly battling things. They're repressing those emotions. They come off as really, really very demanding with the Queen of Swords in reversal. And Bully, uh, like they don't really care how they make others feel kind of feeling but they do inside they do it just adds more to their sadness but they have this this ego you know what i mean like they are literally covering themselves up with an ego blanket really you know what i mean like they're just like an innocent little child trying to hide from the, the monster in the room and trying to act like they're big and bad with the e the, the blanket around them but if you could get past that blanket and understand their sadness and see that there's tears on their real face, you know, you would actually want to comfort them and give them the love that they didn't feel like they got. You know, you really want to find a peaceful resolution for this individual, but they always look for an argument. They always are defensive. They're always whatever, you know, and the nine of swords, it causes a lot of worry and concern and then they go and take action on things that they know are is just going to break their heart and shatter, the, shatter their soul. And then they go and do more things. That can be more damaging in a sense of, oh, yeah, I know I'm confident enough. I could do that. Queen of Wands in the reverse. So all of a sudden they have too many balls in the air. They're stressed out. They're overwhelmed. Princess of Swords. Then they're watching other people. Then they're holding secrets. The moon. See, like. Princess of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. One more. Seven of Wands in the reverse. Yep. Yeah. That's exactly the point I'm, I, I see spirits making here. Evil eye protection, as this picture always reminds me of the evil eye energy. Okay. 
Now, you have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces, Leo. And we're in Leo season. It's perfect timing. Perfect timing right now. I do. Maybe you are family with this person. You could be this person's parent. You could be this person's grandparent. You could be this person's um, cousin or aunt or uncle or whatever it may be, right? But you know that you could be there for them. You could reach out to them. Princess of Pentacles means like, hey, I can communicate to you. That's a, that's a, that's a messenger. I can communicate to you and tell you all the things that you're really good at. I can tell you that you have potential. I can tell you that you are smart. I can tell you that you've been through so many things and you got out of these things. And I mean, right now it just seems like, you know, you kind of giving up on yourself, right? Like there's things that you could potentially say, and it would be all in your own wording, of course. You know, you guys would know where it would be best from, from your heart. But this is the energy I'm feeling is like really maintaining a conversation with them. Not trying to get them to be mad or angry or anything, but trying to uplift them, trying to motivate them, trying to give them a sense of ambition and, and really wanting to see that they actually excel and that they actually go for the prospects in their life because they're trying to plan things, but they just don't know how to go about it. They don't really know because they're so, they're so embedded into the sadness that they don't want to face that sadness, especially alone, okay? Especially alone. I do see that you could be the person that really reaches out to this individual with the seven of wands in the reversal. You're not going to come off as defensive. You're not going to come off as, you know, like I I'm mad at you for saying that. No, you're going to come off with open ears. Like I'm going to lend you my ear. You're going to talk it off. It's going to be okay. We're going to, we're going to bring a sense of harmony back to your life. We're going to bring you back to a sense of joy. Like, let me help you. Let me show you that there are people out there that do care. Let me show you. You know, like that things can turn around. People can change. Maybe this is something, maybe they're upset with you. If you're, if you're a father, or you're a mother or an aunt or an uncle or a cousin or uh, a family member of this person at all. Right. And maybe there was things like back in the day that did take place and that did happen. I mean, maybe you're going to come in and realize that maybe you did something to also kind of contribute to something within this. And you're going to, you're going to be like, you know what? I'm sorry if I ever did anything wrong to you. Maybe you didn't do anything. But if you apologize for something, maybe it is something within themselves that they are going to be like, wow, okay, I see, okay, I'm actually, you know, being more in that sense of being able to be open. And then they are like, it's like that one part of like, here, let me tell you, like, this is how I feel about you, You're, you got potential, I believe in you. You know, whatever it is you want to do, that's wonderful, but let's try to get you to a point of trying to do that for yourself. And let me listen to what you got to say. And if you ever need anybody to turn to, I'm going to be there for you. But remember to always maintain that being there because sometimes people be like, yeah, I'm going to be there for you. And then they end up not being there. You know what I mean? That is also another part of a lot of people's problems, not just this individual, but others in life. You know, we trust in people. We put a, a lot of reliance into that person. And all of a sudden they don't pull through for you. They don't come through. They, they acted like they would, you know, they ignored you. You were supposed to hang out with that person that day. Then they never called you back. They ignored all your calls. They never texted you. They turned their phone off. You know, and like, this is something I see this person gone through. And like, that's why they're trying to force themselves to fit into something that they don't really belong in because they feel like if they don't force to fit, they're never going to fit anywhere. And that's hard. That's hurtful. But I see a lot of great things happening for you. You may just need to come through and be there for this individual in all the ways possible, compassionate energy, unconditional love, you know? Um, and I do feel like a lot of things can change for this individual, you know? There's just something that's unfinished business. There is a manifestation. Hard work is there. Success is there. You know, being able to work slowly and determinedly is there. They will have to take a loss, you know? But that's actually going to set them in the right motion. There's going to be some, like, some lies exposed some things that they were confused about they're going to realize that they actually made themselves miss out on their own opportunities and chances that were actually beneficial to them in all the ways necessary and they'll have an awakening and they'll go through the process of healing as well yeah the wheel of fortunes in the reverse for this person unfortunately but you know what fortunately things are going to finally turn around you're going to have to help this person see the strength of their will to get back into their destined path and onto their divine plan. And this is something I see you being able to really open up with this individual and go about it with them in that way. <clears throat> Sagittarius is energy again. I don't know if this person is a Sagittarius or a Chinese year rat. They're born in, you know, December or the end of November. So like November 22nd, the 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th. 
or December all the way up till December 18th, 19th, 20th, sometimes. Some people really do Capricorn it at the 20th. But, you know, <clears throat> that's what I have for you. And I'm going to leave that here. I hope this helped you in any way it could. You guys are amazing. You're doing a brilliant job and doing all the great things of being compassionate, forgiving, kind, confident, honest, generous, you know, holding integrity, being responsible, holding accountability, allowing yourself to be remembered in other people's memories and lives, as well as remember and allowing other people to know that you remember them in a, in a way of maybe telepathy, even if it's like a, just a message, it's a simple, how are you doing? I miss you. hope everything's well. You know, those kinds of things. But either way, I hope this helps. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys again soon.